Okay, here goes. Much time had passed since Naruto and Sasuke last saw each other at the Battle of the Final Valley. Naruto returns from his training journey to the Hidden Leaf in high spirits. Team Seven's leader, Kakashi, has Naruto spar with Sakura. Of course, this was to assess how much the two of them had grown. I get a feeling I'm gonna have to take these guys more seriously this time. There's no way we can lose! <laughs> Alright, watch it burn! So Dad and Sakura really turned their butts off to get Sasuke back. That's how important their connection with Sasuke was to them. Naruto in particular was like to suffer in solitude. And that horrible experience is why he refused to give up on Sasuke. No matter what had become of their friendship. Yeah, for sure. I know Dad considers Sasuke a really close friend. Plus, it looks like Dad and Sakura have really grown. Of course it does. It only takes us an instant to witness years added on to their lives. Not bad. I mean, sure, they got physically bigger, but it's like... They have way more confidence. The way they move is so different. Are you saying they're grown in spirit? Yep, exactly. Dad and Sakura have really developed here. I mean, it goes without saying. Are we moving on to the next battle already? Kakashi was impressed with their growth. So Sakura and Naruto rejoined Team 7 to resume their missions. The ninja world had been turned upside down by a criminal organization called the Akatsuki, actively working behind the scenes to subvert peace. Naruto and Sakura had no choice but to join the fight, and finally got some new information on Sasuke. They set out to find Sasuke at once, but what they found was a mere shell of their former friend. Seriously? I don't know if I want to see this or not. Finally! We found him! What are you doing all the way out here? I need to bring you back! back. Sasuke gives off a completely different vibe. Just a cold, ruthless stare. You must have done that. Felt a connection to his friends. He was consumed only by his hatred for Itachi. That much hate? It doesn't matter how hard Dad and Sakura tried to convince him. Sasuke looks so bloodthirsty. It's freaking me out. Just watching this has me sweating. There was no compassion left anywhere within Sasuke. And He's really trying to kill him. Yes. Naruto's words couldn't reach him in this state of mind. What happened to Dad? And though his words had no effect, the remnants of the connection they shared was still inside Sasuke. And that would be relevant to the future. Naruto's actions were not unstable. On to the next battle. What happened to Dad, Sakura, and Sasuke after that? Naruto and Sakura's desperate pleas went unheard by Sasuke. And once again, he vanished into darkness. Naruto lamented his inability to reach Sasuke. But this frustration was the driving force behind his next attempt. 
Naruto started training right away to go after his friend, yet again. But meanwhile, there was a target on his back. The Akatsuki invaded the Hidden Leaf to try and steal Ninetales from within Naruto. The Hidden Leaf Ninja fought fiercely against the invasion, but the last to stand strong against the Akatsuki was none other than Naruto Uzumaki. I didn't think you'd come for me. <laughs> you saved me some time. Guess it's obvious since I know what happens in the future. But Dad gets the win here, right? Why would you say that? I mean, look at him go. Dad wins this fight, hands down. I mean, he's brimming with confidence and doesn't give off any signs of weakness. Interesting. Your relationship as father and son gives you a unique perspective. Although Naruto fell into despair after failing to get through to Sasuke, he could rise to a new level and face him. Of course, his ninja way played a role. But more than anything, he has friends. Friends who support him. Connections built up since childhood that are always there for him. He worked to build those bonds. Knowing he's not alone must be super encouraging. Giant Rasengan! Now, with enough experience to defeat even Kakazu, citizens throughout Naruto's village recognized what a powerful ninja he'd become. The Akatsuki realized it would take a great deal of power to capture Naruto. And because of this, their leader, Pain, moved into action. Pain possessed the legendary Rinnegan Eye and was known for his jaw-dropping power throughout the ninja world. He had killed a great many ninja, even Naruto's master, Jiraiya. To avenge his master, Naruto trained even harder, this time acquiring sage powers to take on pain. The battle between them was extremely destructive. Just allow me to capture you. Your death shall bring peace. I said shut up! <laughs> my master! My friend! My village! Look what you did to all of them! I'll never forgive you! <laughs> this is the Hidden Leaf Village? This is Pain's doing. It shows you what incredible power the Renegon is capable of unleashing. So, is that what a guy? Who can do this? Naruto was consumed with fury at this time. But who could blame him? His master and friends were killed, and his village was destroyed. Yeah. He looks pretty pissed. I've... I've never seen death like this before. Naruto had become... the strongest ninja in the village. He's in sage mode, right? I know about this. He's gonna use nature energy or something. Naruto was the village's last hope of defeating pain. They never wanted anything to do with Dad. But now, he's their last hope. Just... wow. That's all I can say. Come on, there you go. I'll bring peace with my own hands! I cannot believe you pushed me this far. I'm really getting fired up here.
one deadly struggle after another, Naruto was victorious. During battle, Naruto discovered Nagata, who was actually controlling pain, and they revealed their goals to one another. Nagato had a different concept of peace than Naruto, but Naruto's great spirit softened his heart, and they reached a peaceful resolution. Naruto had saved the Hidden Leaf from Crisis, and was welcomed by all as the village hero. Once an orphan, living alone, he was now accepted and loved by all. Dad. Shining light! You've collected all the memories up to now. Perhaps you should get back to the Time Reservoir. An omen of imminent danger hangs over the Time Reservoir. What is it? It seems her Kisaki appeared again. Yeah, I'll look into it. You are dangerous. You will live here from now on. Do you understand? The Senju are coming! Send Nanashi out here! Ha ha ha! Did you see that? The Senju clan were running scared! The Senju joined up with another clan. Apparently it was to fight Nanashi. I found her. She's Nanashi Uchiha. Get her! Seal her up! Everything. Ninja. This world. I hate them all! What I saw was her back at the time when she was sealed away. Her power was too great. So she was sealed away by people who thought she was dangerous. If I were treated unjustly by the Uchiha clan, and every ninja in the world became my enemy, and was imprisoned, I could understand why you would come to deeply hate ninja in the ninja world. So that's why she's trying to destroy the ninja world now. Her misery is that she never found someone who understood her. There's only so much our hearts can take. <laughs> 